Yo, what's up, guys? It's Townsend here. Welcome back to another one. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is my match reaction to Shrewsbury Town versus Plymouth Argyle um, on good on Easter Monday. And today, before we just get started, I hope everyone had a really good weekend and enjoyed uh, the Easter holiday, Easter weekend. And on Saturday, it was my birthday. Um, I did turn 19, and it was a good day. But but back to back to the game, and it was just awful. It was. Is another dull performance. The second half, I, I, I don't know where to start. Honestly, I don't know where to start. The majority of the season, we've been shite. We've been a one half team. It always seems we play really well in this first half, and then come out like we come out like absolutely a different a different team in general in the second. I, I don't know what's going on with that mentality from the players who thought, oh, who thinks that, but. It's, I don't know where I don't know I don't know how to explain like the performance. If you didn't watch it, you then it was just it was awful today. It was really bad and um, Shrewsbury basically battered us. They battered us in every area they could. They their defending was quality. Their defending was outstanding. We just couldn't get anywhere near them, and they took their chances. And we only had two two fucking shots all game. That was. It was probably the worst performance of the season, in for my eyes, or probably everyone. Around, people Northampton was terrible, but this one just summed up our performances in the second half. We just we just couldn't find any anything. Mayer made a few runs, and then we'll start off with the first half. The first half, dull crap. We were just like it was so even. Both teams like. Just testing out each other, trying to see when we can go. We had a two two chances in the box, and it was not even a chance. It was just wasted. And I thought Kamara Kamara had a good first half, but could have shot. And you see what we didn't test their keeper. I think Niall Ennis did in the forty seventh minute, but that was it. That was that was that was that was it. That's all she wrote for us. And. Yeah, it's nothing to really talk about in the first half. Um, the second half, then we come out and I thought we was going to play really well in the second half when it, the first couple of minutes played in because Nywen had a really good shot. Uh, Mayer played a really good ball into him and he took it first time and the keeper made a good save. But from then, from then it was just crap. From then it was dull. There was all over us. They battered us. In, like I said, they battered us in the second half. We just couldn't get anywhere near them. All our players looked lost. They didn't want it one single bit, and it's almost as like they say, like people are saying, people are like, I've seen it on like posts. Are they like, oh yeah, we're safe now. We can just, we can just play however we want. And that's not the point. We've got to finish the season strong and set up for next season. And that's what you want. Every team wants to finish the season strong, whether we can climb the league to like twelfth, tenth, whatever it is. We just want to see that and build for something next season. Wu Amerson had a fantastic game in defence. That was probably the only good. That's probably only a decent player on the pitch today. Um, he was. He did have an outstanding game in defence for us, and we all know that's our area that we're lacking in quality of. And the first goal actually came off Wu Amerson for. A, I've seen. I've seen. A, it's gone down as a Wu Amerson own goal, which was really unlucky for him. Uh, Wallery for them hit. Great pass to the play for them. Got in between our defenders and shot, and it deflected really slowly past Cooper. Cooper couldn't reach it, and it's gone down under Williamson on goal. And then, and then from then they controlled it. They added more chances, more chances. I think they finished the game on fifteen shots to our two, which is really poor. And Connor Grant, we brought on five substitutions to like, change things up. We brought Lewis for and Byron Moore on for pace. We brought on Lolos and. Jeff Cott and Ben Reeves, who come on and didn't do anything because we just couldn't get the ball to him. Lewis, Lewis, Lewis made a couple great pass, but nothing like nothing serious. You know what I mean? And Connor Grant unfortunately gave a goal, goal to Shrewsbury for the second one, which which is really unlikely for Connor. We all know he's 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 a talented player, one of the best players this season, and he just literally just passed it back, and no 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 Argo player was there, and um, Wallery. I think it was who slid it in for to make it two 0 and then the third one couldn't do nothing about. It was just literally outside the box, curled it in for three 0 But 
from then we just we just kept on giving the ball away and it was just mistakes everywhere and the second half is the main concern going forward because now on the weekend hopefully we can bounce back and improve this now on the second half we Saturday we do have host City top of the league fighting for promotion as you know um and for them, they're going to be coming at us. And if we play like anything like that today, we're going to get smacked. We're going to get slapped. We're going to get embarrassed, I think, at home park. And hopefully that's not the case. Hopefully we can bounce back and improve now and show everyone who what we got personally against a top team like Hull City. And, yeah, that's all it is. And Hull City is not, not an easy team. They slapped Northampton 3-0 today and they got some really, really quality players. And hopefully we can... Um, try and try and beat them or get a point. I'll take a point against Hull City any day. We are now on 52 points. Most majority of people would say we're safe now, which I agree because we're like 16, still 16 points um, above relegation. And I know I know a lot of people has been saying that the season we went down we was like 52 points or something. But I don't think we're gonna go down. I think we're safe and sound now. It's all about. What we can do now to build for next season and playing like that is just not the way to do it hopefully you did enjoy this video and leave a comment down below what you thought of the game leave your opinions down below as well subscribe if you're on here we're on the road to 500 subscribers share 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 this video with your friends and family help us reach 500 and yeah thank you for everyone who supported and stuck by me and i'll see you guys for saturday against hull peace